that coming back and people are, are emboldened to say a lot, a lot of things that had been said since the 60s. The Abilene community was rocked 50 years ago after a group of Mexican-American students led a civil rights movement pushing for change in Abilene ISD. Now Abilene Hispanic leaders are putting together a commemorative march to remember that week of protest and continue to make progress. Our Catherine Garcia has the story. On Friday, October 24th, 1969, middle school students in Abilene sat at their desks when suddenly hundreds of Chicano high school students flooded the campus, calling out to join a walkout. And they said they did a walkout at Abilene High and now, and I said, no, I'll get in trouble. And they said, well, your brother's the one that, that's behind it. And she goes, come on, come on. So I got up and the teacher goes, where are you going? I said. My sister's in the hall, and I walked out. Flash forward to 2019, 50 years later. Isaac Munoz and his sister-in-law, Leticia Alvarado, recount that walkout, the march that followed, and an entire week of protest. We would congregate here at Sears for the next about eight to 10 days, and uh, you know, instead of going to school, we came here. 11 grievances were written and sent to AISD, seeking the right to speak Spanish without punishment, an increase in Mexican-American representation in faculty and student government, and a ban of derogatory comments made by teachers toward multicultural students. Both Munoz and Alvarado say not all of these grievances were ever addressed, but they believe the march did create meaningful change. Our younger generation needs to know that that because of certain people's sacrifices that they've made, their, their lives have gotten better. Their lives have gotten a lot better. In Abilene, Catherine Garcia, KRBC, Abilene's local news. Thank you, Catherine. Participants will walk from the Abilene ISD building to Everman Park Saturday morning at 10 o'clock.